Hey, hi. Thank you for joining in on my reef adventure. It's time for a new reef tank update on my Red Sea Reaver 425. In this update, we got some things to cover because I spent some money on a new coral and I introduced a new fish. Um, also, I want to talk about uh, the current water parameters and how the battle is going uh, with the dinoflagellates. Um, and I want to give uh, a bigger update or, or of how the tank is looking now. Let's start with a new coral. If you have a sharp eye, you already could see it in the intro. Is this expensive but beautiful coral? It's a torch coral, and to be exact, it's a dragon soul torch coral. And in the shop, it just looked fabulous. And um, it needed some time to get used to uh, its spot. Uh, I just put it now for now in the sand bed. Uh, I need uh, to find a spot for it. I think I want to place it here. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing. I will uh, put some uh, footage, footage of it uh, from last night. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, really, really happy with it. All right, that's the coral. But what about the fish I added? Well, it's a Valenciana uh, strigata. Um, it lives in the sand, in the sand. And um, well, I already uh, saw it. Uh, this morning, but it's really hard to get some footage of it. So uh, I will just show you guys some footage I, I uh, took when I added the, uh, the fish. And why did I want uh, to add this fish? Well, um, I stir up the, the sand uh, by myself uh, to fight against the dinoflagellates um, and I siphoned it out, but I thought, well, maybe I can get some help and the Nasaria snails uh, I just have five of them, didn't really do the job, so I think, well, let's get this guy. So I'm happy to get some help with stirring up the sand and keeping the sand clean in the future. So that brings me on the third point of this video, the battle with the dinoflagellates. Uh, in this, uh, I got uh, Osteriopsis and um, I want to show you how the battle is going. So I stir up the sand every day, I think uh, mainly twice a day. And yes, the UV I got installed uh, is doing its job. Uh, I got a Aquamedic Helix Max 2.0 and on the, and then the 36 watts. And um, yes, it's working out, but I need to, uh, to siphon the, the sand a bit more I guess but it already looks a bit better also uh, I uh, got my my phosphate and nitrate ratio uh, to a good level my uh, nitri my nitrate is uh, 11 and my phosphate is 0 0.07 so uh, that's quite good. I want to keep it that way. I'm happy how that de develops. Also my uh, alkalinity, so my KH is 8. So, so keep it that way. How is the rest of the tank doing? The rest of the tank is doing amazing. Well, the Stilopora uh, got another place. Um, when I put this thing in, um, this thing, the Stilopora felt of its place and I just couldn't get it back on its place, even though I used new glue or a uh, new uh, two-way two composite. Yeah, it uh, didn't really work out. So it had have, has uh, some white spots now and also on the tips, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> um, also the hammers uh, are getting uh, used to its spot. But they look a bit more fluffy now, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the sea urchin, the new sea urchin, uh, looks great and is just putting out some real work. I'm uh, really happy with it. I still don't know 
what this coral is. So if you guys know what it is, let me know. Reef waves, maybe I should get them on the side, but I just don't like them in my, to get them in my view. Uh, when I look at this, um, uh, when I look at the reef tank, so I still don't know about that. Um, the tank is now not fully stocked with coral. So uh, in the meantime, I will just let them be uh, this way. Also the six stripe, six line rats is living his best life. The Montipora plate, uh, it's getting better. There's Roxy. Uh, and, um, but yeah, I think it's quite happy. This Montipora plate, the green one, yeah, it just grows insanely uh, fast. This, maybe I uh, need to get to cut them a bit back. Also the uh, purse nest is looking great and living his best life. The cordia is uh, looking good. Um, when I saw I um, when I put when I uh, when I put my nitrate and my phosphate a bit higher, uh, it uh, felt way happier. So that's great. There's my cleaner shrimp, uh, my nemos. Also see my blood shrimp, still alive and very happy, I think. Um, and the old sea urchin from the Nano is taking some new coral with him. I don't mind taking uh, him taking uh, this kind of coral because it just uh, was already on the rock and uh, I don't like this coral, so <laughs> keep it where you want. And last but not least, the toadstool uh, has its polyps finally out again. Um, uh, yeah, and I just like it. So I hope the Nemos will host it again. And uh, Foxy is still a bit stressed. I think uh, now she's showing black because of the camouflage. But uh, when I approach the tank to look at it, uh, she just gets a bit more black uh, and just hides a bit more, but she eats well and yeah. So I think I need to get her a new friend. More about that right now. Because what I'm planning uh, in the near future for this tank is to get uh, first uh, the Red Sea Reef can uh, and then the bigger one uh, because I really need the uh, space in my cabinet because this thing just takes a lot of, takes up a lot of room and then I hopefully I can put it on the right side but maybe uh, as I'm battling dinoflagellates it's I will put it still right there but <laughs> it saves some space at least the final, final thing uh, I want to add in this tank in the near future is a copper band butterfly fish. So um, I know uh, the fox face can be a, a bit uh, shy and uh, I want him to, intro to introduce him uh, a fellow calm fish and the copper band uh, butterfly fish is that kind of fish. And I want to add the copper band butterfly fish uh, pretty early for this tank because uh, I, in the future, I want to also add one or two tanks. Um, and that's why I want to uh, get the butterfly, for copper band butterfly fish established uh, as first because they can be some hard eaters. So that was the update already for this week. Uh, stay tuned, next week I will upload uh, a species spotlight series about uh, the most popular tanks in uh, the reefing hobby. And uh, I will upload a new reef tank update on Friday or Saturday. And um, yeah, stay tuned. If you like the video, give the thumbs up. Uh, 
subscribe. Help me on the road to 1K subscribers. And um, see you in the next one. Ciao.